You ready to go, Jacob? You ready to go, Let's huh, boy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at the uh, theoretical trailhead here. We're gonna head up to San Marcos, San Marcos Mountain High Point. So, Ray's ready to go. I'm gonna leave her on the leash eight. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. Dog leaps tall buildings with a single bound. What do you think, Ray? You about there? Majestic foot dog. I put the uh, pack on her just so that I can slow her down and then she'll get a workout. Otherwise, there's no workout. So, another three pounds and uh, she gets a little bit more exercise, huh, Ray? <laughs> so, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but you've seen me use my um, my AMR paddles, American Morris. I really like those paddles, they're great. Um, but I've decided to try these for a few activations, N0SA. I'll put the link in the description. These are really cool, they're really small. I mounted them on this little plate uh, with the supplied um, Velcro. So these are really small. I set them up really, uh, just a really light touch works them, but if you're a gorilla on the keys, on the paddles, uh, you pay dearly because it the the shock wave will cause the other one to basically touch in because I have them set up pretty close. Um, so I've got those paddles, but today I'm going to try my new paddles from K6 ARK Portable Radio. These are probably um, the smallest. I've got some from N6 ARA as well. Um, I'll put those in the description, but today. I'll do a demo of those when I dig them out someday, my backup paddles. Today, these are touch paddles made by K6 ARK. Put a picture of them, a little bit better picture of them right here. But this goes into uh, the KX2 connector that's built for these. Goes right in there, just ease it in, screw it down. And you got yourself some really super light touch paddles which I had never used touch paddles until yesterday, which are these. So that should be fun. Um, so let's get on the air and see how these guys work. And uh, yeah, we'll get cracking here in just a minute.
I'll give him a five nine. What the hell? That's all he ever gives me. <laughs> all right, there's four. We got Christian in France. There's Martha. Set my radio like this, I can run it a little bit better. I'm loving this key, loving this paddle. Okay, I'm gonna try using these paddles right here. Don't know if you can see these. These are from uh, N6ARA, and we're gonna give those a shot this morning. <laughs> All right, wow. And these just go into the key socket here. We're going to spot on there and see how these keys work. You kill me when you do that, it's so funny. All right. All right, so we're wrapping up San Marcos Mountain High Point. 
uh, with Ray, Jacob, W6RWS, and myself, and one CLC. 26 and three Summit to Summits, so 26 contacts, three of those are Summit to Summits. Uh, tried three different paddles. Um, it was interesting, I was using uh, my K6ARK paddles, but they stopped working correctly uh, for 40 meters and, and longer. So 40 and 60 meters, they don't work right. I'll just talk to Adam. Uh, switched over to the N6ARA really quick. Picked up a few more contacts with that and then it got really crazy. Something dirt or something got in there. So I had to switch in the middle of making a contact to George. Um, KX0R <laughs> was a complete shit show. But uh, while he was, I, th I think he gave up and just started sending me his, his, uh, my signal report. And while he was doing that, I switched paddles to the NS0, uh, uh, these ones right here. So uh, how'd you do, Jacob? Not bad. Um, handful of contacts on 20 meter SSB, couple on 40 meter SSB, and a few more on VHF. All right. One summit to summit on VHF. Cool. Yeah. What's the weather report? Beautiful. It's unbelievable. So it's perfect set of weather. We'll throw up a, a quick drone, drone shot of the summit here, but as it swings around, you can see the ocean behind us. Beautiful clear day out to the ocean. A little bit hazy, uh, marine layer out there, but man. What a beautiful day, and it's warmed up to what, 65 or something? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, just absolutely perfect. And uh, Ray's ready to get cracking here, so I guess we'll do that. So, thanks for joining, we're gonna head down. So, let's get cracking. Yep, let's go, Ray. You wanna go? <laughs> let's go. He's like, all right, finally. All righty, before we get to the uh, closing credits, it's mail call and a couple of notes. So uh, first up on the mail call here is uh, AJ6UG. Um, and let's see, this was for, he's, he was using a KX3 Elecraft uh, random wire and bed, which is most likely what I was using. Uh, and he said, thanks for the video on the chase. And uh, so to Summit to Summit from 397 and uh, or 347, 397, 347. Merry Christmas. So thanks, Fred. Appreciate it. I love the cards. And uh, if I haven't are done on so yet, I'll send one out to you. Uh, next up is N0DET. Um, Dave in Boulder County, Colorado. And uh, this was for an October 21 uh, QSO. Said thanks for the summit to summit contact from W0C uh, slant Fox Tart Romeo 150 Thunder Mountain in the Rocky Mountain National Park. I remember doing this one. So uh, he was using NFED Half Wave and uh, he also said thanks for the uh, other soda contacts. We've, I think we've uh, had quite a few. So thanks. Thanks for that. Um, next up is Gus W9SSN. Wonder where that uh, call sign comes from. But uh, Gus and I have had several contacts, and uh, he's a, he's another SoCal guy here, actually pretty close to me. And uh, I think we've had a few beers together as well. So thanks, Gus, for the for the QSO card and uh, the Summit to Summit and all the other uh, contacts we've had. Uh, he chases me out there on the mountain. And of course, the, uh, the infamous Kilo November 6, Echo Zulu Echo. Uh, that's Mike. He's just north of me, and uh, we've we've had a couple of soda fests together. He runs the SoCal Zoom sessions uh, weekly, and uh, so his QSO card is uh, just found my just found your QSL card. Must have been buried on your desk there. Uh, you are my second S2S. Thanks for the contact and uh, I'm trying to read through all the stuff that the post office puts on here, but. Anyway, uh, thanks for your, your blog and YouTube. So, 73. Mike. So, thanks, Mike. And uh, finally, just a couple notes on the paddles I was using on this particular summit. So, I started out with the K6 ARK touch paddles. The first time I've ever used touch paddles. That was a lot of fun. Love those paddles. And uh, helped me develop a really light touch, uh, which was great. I was using a random wire. Um, from K6 ARK, and I'm guessing I was getting a little bit of RF back into the radio, causing the uh, radio to spaz out when I got to 40 meters. 
So anything 40 meters and beyond, uh, those paddles weren't working with that particular antenna. I did try it with a six foot lead. Um, another option is to put it through a toroid. Um, and I need to test it with a, um, a different antenna. I'm sure it'd be fine. Really, really cool paddles. I love them. They plug directly into the, uh, the port that's made for the little custom um, L-Craft paddles. The other paddles I switched over to was the N6 ARA paddles. I've used those before. Um, those are really neat little paddles. Uh, the nice thing about those is they're kind of universal. If you have a jack, um, like a little uh, stereo jack, those things pop right in. So I've used those on my QCX Mini um, to do a full activation from Black Mountain not too far from my house. That was a lot of fun. And those work fine, but as you saw during the video on 30 meters, it started spazzing out. I think it's the same issue. Um, a little bit of RF getting into the radio. Um, I'm not sure they worked fine on 20 meters on the QCX Mini. So, um, not sure. The final set of paddles um, that I do have mounted on uh, my leg strap now, and um, that I replaced the um, American Morse. I'm trying these new, a little bit smaller paddles. They're a lot of fun. They work great. And I uh, switched over to those um, as I was trying to work George. I was trying to send KX. It would not send. let me send an X. Uh, in this case, it wasn't it wasn't my skill. It really was the radio. So um, I switched over to those. Uh, George gave up, went ahead and sent me my signal report. And about the time he was finished, I had the paddles hooked up. And I was able to, to send uh, his signal report. And, and uh, thank you. So those are the three paddles I used. Um, all of them are great paddles. Uh, and I, enjoy, I really enjoy using them. Um, so that is that. Um, had a lot of fun up there with Jacob. So with that, I'm going to send you back to a couple drone shots. And, uh, of course, we're going to roll the credits. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And 73.